On a regular Thursday, pedestrians will be out and about in Orange Rock Town, but on this Thursday, the streets of Orange Rock were dead. The Central Park was empty and the life of the town has significantly slowed down. Residents are at home and Mayor Kevin Bernard hopes that they stay there. The state of emergency is in effect today and I am asking our people to please ensure that you, you follow and abide by those rules. Uh, stay home. You don't need to come out if you don't need to. There's no need for us to see people on the street playing in the parks, um, doing their ordinary day business that they normally would do. It's a time for us to prevent uh, this virus from spreading. Five persons have been screening orange drug for the COVID-19 virus with all negative results. And with the looming threat of a COVID-19 outbreak, the Orange Rock Town Council is doing its part. The council has closed its doors, leaving only the sanitation department operational. As a council, we've been seeing, sending out press releases, we've been adhering to the regulations. Our staff um, have been sent home for the same reason, so that there's no direct contact with people. Uh, we've been providing online services and for, our, for our customers uh, and residents who want to pay property taxes, who want to do um, traffic uh, transactions such as the renewal of driver's license and motor vehicle. Essential services is the sanitation department, the market area, cleaning and so forth. Those are the ones that are remaining uh, employees that remain on full employment. If you need to come out to buy any essential item, let it be one person, uh, you know, and, and, and do that and come right back home. Economic activity has increased tremendously with the state of emergency in place. You won't find many people on the streets. You find them inside stores and supermarkets stocking up unnecessary items. Social distancing is being enforced and some businesses are requiring customers to wear face masks or no service. One of those businesses is Cuello's store owned by Rene Cuello. Before entering his store, I washed my hands and was given a face mask to use. His employees inside the store all wore face masks and so did Cuello. Cuello believes that to prevent the spread of the virus, everyone must wear a face mask. You need one person to infect many. So what they are doing to stop the spread is not working, not even in the USA. They are saying no more than 10 persons to be in one year or nothing. But that is not helping. If the government enforces the law that everyone must wear a mask in public or when speaking to someone, we can stop this virus in its tracks because you cannot spread it if you are not spitting in the person's face or, or your breath going to their person's face. Like, put on a mask. We as responsible citizens, no one without a mask can come to me and, and speak. I break someone's spot. You must wear a mask, right? Before you get closer to me. There is competing research related to the need to wear face masks during the COVID-19 pandemic. The World Health Organization and the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention says that you only need to wear a mask if you're taking care of a person with suspected COVID-19 infection and if you're coughing or sneezing. The advice there are saying why not to use masks is not logical. Yeah, because the WHO says yeah, that wearing masks yeah, may put you more logical, at risk. Polito, they say if you wear a mask, the virus sticks on it. So if it doesn't stick on the mask, where would it stick? In your face? you'll be infected immediately. And the mask is to protect you, if I have it, right? That's why all of us are wearing a mask here. So I don't spread it to you, and you don't spread it to me. However, recent research shows that the use of a face mask, even by persons not showing signs or symptoms, is effective in preventing the spread of the virus. Scientists say that COVID-19 is believed to spread through respiratory droplets when an infected person coughs or sneezes. Those droplets land on common surfaces that many people come in contact with. Right now, this you go to, to a supermarket, you have two with masks, eight without masks. They go in the supermarket, the one that's infected probably could go behind the shelf, sneeze, you don't know, infect the products. You go around there, you touch it, right? You get infected too. When you pass it, you bring it to your family, right? And that's the way to avoid it is to wear a mask. Signs and symptoms may appear days after a person is infected. Wearing a face mask prevents that person from spreading the virus during its incubation phase. Queer is requiring his customers to wear masks or be denied service. A few other businesses around town are doing the same, and Queer is encouraging other business managers and owners to join. We demand that the customer bring a mask because we don't breathe. 
or, or, or left some dew on the counter, you know, or on the money or whatever. You know how to handle yourself with the money. When the customer comes, you do it and you disinfect it, and you have to take care of yourself. So you stop the spread. But people have to be educated. People are going about their business like it's business as usual. And you have many, many shopkeepers that just don't give a damn. Hmm? They don't care, you know. I go and I speak with them, they laugh. You don't have to wait to buy a mask or to get it imported. It's laziness. You can make a mask out of anything. See, we bought the cloth and we do it, and this is reusable. How do you make the mask? Huh? We, buy, we bought the cloth and we just cut it. It's easy, easy. You get the, the, the string. I see, you open it this way and you put a plastic inside or a wax paper, see? So your bread doesn't go through it, or anything doesn't go through it. Easy one. And we sell them for a dollar, and if they don't have any money, we give it to them, right? And this is reusable. You just have to take out the, the wax paper, push in another one, and you wash it. Easy, doesn't cause, it is just plain slickness that we don't do it. Reporting for News 5, Hippolyta Novello. In the M, orange rock shut down.